remembering what kind of trouble they got into now. Hello, is this my little, my honey? Hi, honey, sweet face. All right, come on, let's, oh, and here comes over Lotus, Lotus and honey. Yeah, I'm coming in. I thought I'd do one video today for you guys because tomorrow I'm working and again the rest of the week I'm just so booked out. I decided I'm going to go to the show just Saturday and Sunday, which will make it a lot better, I think. And I mean, yesterday I was so, so productive. That was the scary thing that I was so productive and I still didn't even have time for more than a 20 minute sit down for eating. So I've just got to figure out how I'm going to make things work, don't I, little Goldie? I think Goldie, yeah, and there's my tea man. Hi, tea boy. And then let's see who's over here. Oh, oh wrestling. I almost fell. Kazi. And then over here, we must have Sunny and BB. Yep. And then where's Chloe? Clover and BB were sleeping before I got them in. BB's on her good behavior. She was on her bad behavior when Bill and Janae, I think that just meant she needed to go to Allison's. So everybody's figured out where everybody's going now and we're all excited. So uh, can't wait. And uh, where's our little... Yes, here we go. Lotus, you're staying in Cali. Um, let's see, who else is staying in Cali? Lotus and Honey. And then we got going to Oregon and Washington. We got um, Goldie and BB. And then we got Clover going all the way to New Hampshire. Bill's favorite. And pretty much one of my favorites, too. Yep. And then our little Sonny going to his meet his new body pumpkin. I mean not Sonny, Sonny's going to meet his new body Maddie. So my two repeat people are each getting one of the red boys, Sonny and little Tiny T. Their Tiny T's gonna go live with Pumpkin and they'll be a perfect match because I really think he loves the company of other dogs. And I think the same for Sonny. He probably could go either way. There they are too right now, I think the boys. And uh so Sonny's going to Nebraska and T-Man's going to Montana. So everybody going to be happy. Yes. we got to fatten up our little tea for the journey. But I think that's just going to be continued to give him his little high-calorie stuff. Like I say, you can never tell because about eight months from now, he might be the roly-poliest of the bunch, huh? Oh, there's our little Shaq out there. Shaq was, Shaq was a pound over her litter mates, weren't you? There's Shaq and Ashy coming to say hi. It's a beautiful day again, so we've been taking away. Uh, is that Clover? Yeah. Hi, Clover, handsome. It's either Clover or Lotus. Let's see. Let's see. I can, yeah, Lotus. I can still tell from his little nose, but otherwise, that's the only way I can tell. Baby, where are you? You're all, oh, you must be BB up, and there's my Clover. Yes. This is the week that. It's funny, I always say on the even weeks they look like miniature versions of what they're going to look like as adults. So the six-week pictures, they like I say hi to Shaq, and then the eight-week pictures. But the thing is, um, they, uh, they uh, these seven weeks, they're actually odd-looking. Ears go kind of wonky when they start to come up. And I don't know, there's something really bizarre about the even weeks. I've always, every time I, like, pick my puppies and base, you know, just on pure cosmetic show stuff or whatever I'll say around six and eight weeks and this week it, it's lately I mean honestly every single litter we've had I can genuinely say that I think almost every puppy we've had in every litter in the last few would be a champion if we wanted and some really easy and some probably not maybe as easy but not that hard uh, because they're all pretty consistently beautiful and temperament wise we have a lot of consistency too bb is definitely the snarkiest one i've seen so far uh since our junie be bad <laughs> hence her name and i talked to her owner the other day uh well texted her owner actually just today and she because i was thinking of her when i was because i we definitely have a great home for bb with allison because she has experience with a little bit of the hard-headed breeds and she said that uh bb or that um Junie, maybe bad, is now the sweetest dog in the world. She said it only took her three years to calm down. <laughs> but I think, again, activity level, and Allison has property. I think it's like three or more acres as well, maybe two. But either way, it'll be adequate, and they are very active as well. Oh, are you guys saying hi to Shacky? Is that, yes, everybody saying hi to Shack. Hi, Shacky. Shacky, do you love the puppies? The puppies like to see Shack too. 
Um, so, all right, guys, this is it for today, I think, video, because I'm exhausted and I got to get in and do some sit down stuff. I got a list a mile long. All right. All right. Everybody going night night. T, are you and Lotus crashing out?